Okay, so we're gonna start with the song and you need to know that the uh, tuning, it's a little bit different. Now we need to, it's kind of a, it's a, we need to lower the, uh, the, the tuning half step down and the, the lower E is gonna be on D flat. So the E, uh, the sixth, it's on D, B, D flat. The fifth, it's an A flat. The fourth on D flat. The third on G flat. Second on B flat. And the first on E flat. So to start the song, we're gonna do the following. We're gonna start with the intro because we have different sections. And we're gonna start with the intro and we're gonna do the following. We're gonna do that. So we're only gonna use the open D string right now. It's gonna be seven on the, we're gonna start striking seven on the, on the D and then a pull off to the open, open string, open D. Next, we're gonna we're gonna strike the uh, the open D string several times. Next movement, it's seven, pull off to open D, strike, open D, eight, strike eight, and then pull off to the open string, open D again, and we finish that lick on the seven, open D, okay? And we start again with the whole section. If, if you if you notice that I did I did that I did that so it this is because I end the lick with a seven and open string and I started with the same movement with seven and open and pull off to the open string so we repeat the same movement three times and the next part it's the same the same lick without the the open string several times. It's seven, pull off to the open, strike open string, eight, pull off to the open, open string again, and seven, pull off to the open string. And then we start again. All right, so the next section is We do that, so we go to the to the lower D string, okay, to the uh, to the sixth, and we do open string seven, pull off to the open string, and pull off is going to be always to the open string. It's open string seven, pull off, then open string eight, pull off, open string seven, pull off, open string eight, pull off, open string seven, pull off, and now we there's a tiny silence and we go again to the open string and seven open string open eight pull off open string so let me show you in a slow tempo because right right now it, it, in a too slow tempo it doesn't make sense so let me show you a, a little bit faster now this movement after we do that we do and we finish it in that way, it's seven and nine, then eight and 10, everything is gonna be on the A and the D string. And to finish, 10 and 12. Let's go again. We repeat the same movement. And this time we're gonna just do the same thing, but reverse, it's 10 and 12 then 8 and 10, and then 7 and 9. One more time. And then the burst comes in. All right, so now the burst comes in, and now you need to pay attention because uh, on, the, on the following bursts, the burst number two and the burst number three, you're just gonna repeat the same patterns, but uh, on a different place, in a different way. Okay, uh, in my in my place, the uh, the most difficult uh, thing uh, to to play these this kind of uh, songs to play this move down is to remember what we have to play in each section. Uh, since I have the practice, the, the other thing is the is the most difficult way for me. Uh, but well, I'm just gonna tell you how to play the first verse and then tell you what uh, which which part we need to play on the second and the third. So we're gonna start doing the following on the first verse. Mm -hmm. 
we do that. So basically we're just using the open D string and we strike seven and then twice on the open string. And then we just go to eight and again, twice on the open string. And that's gonna be the movement, seven, eight, seven open string, eight open string, seven open string, eight open string. It's always the same movement. The first part, the first line, what we do, we finish on the seventh of the of the D string, and then we go and do that, eight and 10, eight of the fifth and 10 of the fourth. The next section, it's a little bit shorter. We do that, seven, open, eight, open, seven, open, eight, open, and we go to 10 and 12. The same thing we did with the intro, eight and 10, and we finish on seven and nine. We repeat the same thing again, which we just do two rounds of, of, the, of this both um, parts. The other part. And now we're gonna change something. We're gonna repeat the first part, but it's gonna be a longer part. We're gonna do uh, one measure of the seven and eight, seven open string and eight, and then just we repeat the first part. Let me show you what we're gonna do, and then you're just gonna notice what I'm, what I'm saying. See, the first part was longer, and the second one, single was uh, single, the second part was the same thing we did before. That is the, the first measure, and then we just continue doing the same thing. All right, let me show you the entire part. Then we repeat the same thing, the, the longer part. All right, and we finish on the eight. All right, so it's like we did on the, on the first part. Uh, we finish on the eight then the open string, and we're gonna finish it going to five, three, and we do that. It's uh, we do a bar on the sixth string, the fifth string, then a thir third, okay, on the third fret, same thing, and then second fret, third fret, we go back to second, and we strike the open strings. Let me show you the final part. That's gonna be in slow tempo. And then we start the pre-chorus. Let me show you uh, the first verse, the entire first verse, and what we need to play on, on, the, on each part, and then just move forward to the next section. That's the first line. That's the second line. Third. Fourth. The fifth. Then the, the sex and then final one. And then we just move forward to the pre-chorus section. Okay, so the pre-chorus, we're gonna do the following. We do that. After we, when we are finishing the, uh, the first verse, and we strike the first, the, the open strings, okay? We strike again the open strings, and then we do, we do that. We're gonna use the, the uh, D string, the open D string, which is strike once, and then we do second fret, third fret, fifth. We go back to third, go back to second, and now what we're gonna do, it's open string, second fret, open string, and as soon as we do that, we go to three, of the A string and five of the D string. Okay, let's go again. Next movement, we do that. We go to open A string, third fret of the, of the A string. And then on the D string, we go open string and we strike third fret of the D string. We do a pull off to the second fret and then a pull off to the open string. To move forward, we do 
we do that movement we do a bar on the third fret of the d and a is you third then we go to second we do a bar on the second fret and then we strike the open string twice just like we did before and the next movement we do that we strike the open string open d string and then we go five seven eight we go back to seven go back to five and then we go to three five three and second fret That's the movement. And to finish, we do that. Basically, we are just striking on the third fret of the uh, of the A string, and, and when I strike, I do a bend, a release, and I repeat the same movement three times. All right, bend, release, bend, release, bend, release. Let's go with the pre the pre-chorus one more time and then we just go to the chorus. And now with the chorus we're going to do something different. Uh, we're going to use some some of the uh, the pre-chorus but but we're going to do something different. We're going to start doing the following. We're going to do something like that. We're going to strike the open strings, and if you want, you can use only the open string, the D string, and or you can use the open D and the open A. We're going to strike three times. We're going to do a triplet. Then we strike one time, then twice. And to move forward, we're going to strike three times. And we're going to go to three and five, and we repeat the same motion three times, then one time, then two times, and then three times again. Let me show you. Then we just go back again to the open D string. We strike three times, one time, and then we just repeat what we did with the pre-chorus. It's the same motion. Let me show you again, and then we just move forward to the second verse. Okay, on the second verse and the third verse, we're going to repeat the same uh, same parts we did with the first verse, but we're going to swap the positions where we're going to do it. Now, when we start the second verse, we're going to do the longer 7-8 uh, we did before with the first verse. Let me show you. Remember, we did this, this part before, so we need to start with that part. The second part is going to be pretty much the same thing, but we're going to end with... We're going to end it that way. Let me show you. So we do that. We just do the longer part with this, and then the other longer part with... And then we're going to start, we're going we're gonna to move forward doing what we did with the first part of the, of the verse. We're going to do... We're going to follow by... Then we're going to repeat the other part. And we're going to finish... The same way we did with the first verse. So let me uh, play along the, the entire second verse. And that's what you're gonna do on the. You're gonna need to play on the second verse and the third verse. Okay, let me uh, show you. That's the first line. That's the second line. The third line. Okay, then the fourth line. The fifth. And the sixth, and then we start with the, the with the chorus. So we just repeat the same thing with the, with the, with the previous chorus. Then the chorus comes in, and we just 
repeat the same chords we did before. Now the only thing that is you're gonna play it more times. You're gonna repeat it more times. And then there, there there's come there comes a comes a bridge. All right. So on the on the bridge we're gonna do the following. Gonna do that. So basically, you're just using the uh, the D string. You start on the fifth position and you slide to the seventh fret. Okay. As soon as you do that, you do alternate picking. You strike several times on the seventh uh, seventh position. Next movement is gonna be ten on the uh, D string. You strike ten, pull off to the seven, and strike seven one more time. Next movement eight, pull off to seven. You strike seven one more time, and then you go to fifth to five, okay, and you strike twice, and then you start again with the whole thing. The only difference is that you're gonna need to play it uh, much much faster. So it's not that important how many times you you strike it on the fifth or on the seven. It doesn't really matter as long as you you play it um, correctly uh, on, on that part. The amount of times you need to do each section, uh, you're gonna be okay. So if I play it sloppy, so you can see I, I played a lot of times on the fi on the fifth, not twice. And it doesn't really matter, it still sounds good. So the next part after this one, we need to repeat this section eight times, okay? Eight uh, rounds of it. And then we need to do... We do that. Basically, we're just going to the 12th on the D string. We do alternate picking, repeat it seven times. Then go to eight on the D string several times. And then... We do that. We go to the open A string. We uh, strike it, uh, strike many times, and then seven pull off to the open string, strike open string again. And then eight pull off to the open string, open string again, and to finish seven and open string. And we just repeat the uh, same movement again. Now the last time you do it, if you listen to the original track, you're gonna notice that the la the last time I, I believe three or four times we're gonna we're gonna do we just repeat this this section the open string seven eight seven and the open string we just repeat it several several times. All right, so after the bridge, the first bridge. It comes a new burst, uh, and the pattern is going to be the same than the second burst. Then a pre-chorus and a longer, uh, a long chorus, and then the final section comes in. The final section we can start uh, the same way we did with the bridge. And then when we are uh, playing several times. If you listen to the original track, there is something like... It does something like that. We need to go to the uh, to the D string and you just strike it and slide, okay? And to finish the song, um, we need to repeat the same pattern we did with the intro. Remember on the, on the uh, D string? We did that before with the intro. Now we repeat the same pattern, but we do it on the A string. And I'm gonna explain again because it's the same, same, same movement. The only difference is the A string. And that's that's the way we're gonna end the song. We repeat seven times. And the last time, the eighth time, we're gonna finish uh, on a different way. We, we do that, and then the song ends. So basically, when the la the last time I'm doing a seven on the A string, 
Uh, um, there, there's no pull off to the open street. We just strike seven and kill the note. And that's the way uh, this song ends. And uh, well, I hope you enjoy the, the tutorial. See you on the next time.